Happy Easter, everyone. Yeah, happy Easter. A beautiful Sunday morning. So here is Philip, and uh, my name's Nicole. And uh, Philip is the author of this book, which we have in front of us. Um, so we just want to learn more about Philip and where he's coming from with this book and, and his journey, his, his wisdom. Um, and yeah, we'd just like you to share a bit more about that. So today, I think a good topic today is um, to talk about uh, purpose and hope. And the resurrection of Jesus is obviously Absolutely. hope. Yeah. Um, hope and peace, mm -hmm. I believe, and love is what Absolutely. I, you know, um, personally have gotten out of the resurrection of my and my Christian faith. Um, so, with purpose, I just want to know more about my purpose, and I feel like I don't have sometimes gifts because I compare myself to the world's view of what gifts are, and that could be, you know, music, singing. Um, you know, talent in those areas. Um, so, how would you explain the gifts, you know, the spiritual gifts, maybe that I could have that I don't realise that I have, and that I can use Absolutely. to reach my purpose? Absolutely. So, I believe, you know, essentially that we are spiritual beings. So, mm. we actually created to love and to um, to use our gifts to to draw people closer to God. Mm. Uh, that's what it's all about. And I think Jesus showed that with his own life, you know. Mm. Um, his, his life, death and resurrection was also to sh not just to save us, but to show us how to live ourselves, mm. you know. And it's just a complete pouring out of oneself mm -hmm. uh, for others um, to help save the souls of other, other people, you know, to bring them closer to God. And, um, and that's our purpose mm. as spiritual beings. Mm. Um, it's so important. And the question is, how do we do that? Well, yes. Jesus showed us how to do that, you know, and it, it starts with a complete surrender to God. Mm -hmm. You know, the soul has to surrender to God. Jesus said, unless a grain of wheat falls to the ground and dies, it remains a single seed. Mm -hmm. But when it dies, it produces much fruit. Mm -hmm. So there is this dying to self that has to take place. Mm -hmm. and, and, and that's what Jesus said when he was speaking about his death. And it's interesting because we, as, as, as Christian believers, we, we participate in, in, in the sacrifice of Christ. Um, St. Paul said, uh, offer, your, offer your bodies as a living sacrifice to the Lord. This is your spiritual worship. Mm -hmm. Because we are spiritual beings, and the body is very spiritual. Mm -hmm. So when we offer it in union with Christ, with, with his sacrifice, mm -hmm. uh, it produces much fruit for the mm -hmm. salvation of souls. Wow. And, and, then, and we live in the hope of the resurrection of the body, mm -hmm. the spiritual body. Mm. Um, so, but there has to be that surrender, you know, uh, that, that, that takes place. Mm. And, so and then God is able to, to use us. Uh, we're able to produce spiritual fruit uh, and, and uh, for the kingdom of heaven. Mm. And the Holy Spirit is able to come into us and, you know, uh, uh, allow us to, to inspire us mm. to use our gifts. Mm. So, how, Philip, would you suggest that people go about finding their spiritual gifts? And you say, in spirit, because we're spiritual beings, we all have spiritual gifts, mm -hmm. and that the soul lives on um, after death, and you know we meet God in heaven. So, how, how would we find our spiritual gifts? I think people think about our earthly gifts, and Certainly. you know our the gifts of our, our brain or our our body, you know, can do gymnastics or backflips or things like that. But spiritual gifts, I don't know if a lot of people know about their spiritual gifts. Is it sort of that underlying desire that people of all different races, uh, ages, have inside them about helping others and that Absolutely. desire to help others and they feel so good when they help others? Absolutely. Well, it it's... It's yeah. something in, absolutely, it's innate, it's in every man, woman and child. We mm. have this desire to, to give ourselves to others, to pour ourselves out mm. for others. Mm. And that's really um, connecting to who we are. It's a sign that that's who we are. Spirit, we're spiritual mm. beings and we, we're created to love mm. and to pour ourselves out for others, you know, just as Christ did. Christ showed us um, mm. how to do that. And um, it's only when we do that that we're going to really connect to who we really are. Yeah. And we're going to realise our fruitfulness. Mm. And I think it, it come, it's, it's about seeking God, seeking the face of God, and, mm -hmm. and surrendering 
the soul has to surrender itself to God. Mm. And it's only then that, uh, that this, we can really discover who we are. Wow. It's a sort of paradox in that, you know, we have to die in order to find ourselves. Mm. Jesus said, unless you, uh, he who loses his life for my sake will find it. Mm. So in basic terms, just, just for our viewers, what, what do you mean by die to yourself? Um, what does that mean in basic terms? Well, absolutely. It's, um, it, it means, uh, you know, offering oneself to God. Uh, mm. It's a very spiritual thing. And it's only then, and it requires great humility, obviously. Mm. Um, mm. But it's only then that we can actually realise who we are mm. and that the Holy Spirit is able to come in. And we are wow. able to be very fruitful. Wow. And we're able to to realize who we are mm. and um, you know find ourselves mm. and and um, and use our gifts. You know. Wow, that's that's amazing, Philip. But mm. I think a lot of people can get get a lot from what you're saying because I do believe there's many people out there that are searching and wanting to know their purpose and wanting to know Absolutely. their gifts. And um, I just think that it's great that we can just start surrendering, start being peaceful and, um, you know, giving it all up to the Maker and He will take care of it if we just start to, to give. And, and that is true freedom, you know, that's, that's, that's how we find ourselves, you know, yeah. our true freedom. Mm. Uh, and that's what we're called to do. You know, Jesus said, as I have loved you, so must you love me. Yeah, so it's naturally in us. Well, thank you very much, Philip, and, um, and thanks everyone for watching. And I, if you want to comment below, um, we'll be going on from this interview um, with another topic and we just hope you've gotten something out of it. And thanks again guys. See ya. Thanks very much.